What is going on you guys? Welcome back to another video and to the channel. So in this video, I'm gonna be installing some colored drive mode selector, PDC and traction control button pieces on my BMW F30. As you can see here, I have a red colored drive mode selector button piece. Here I have a red colored PDC button piece. And then lastly here, I have a red colored traction control button piece. Now these are actually a brand new product that are now available on my store, inline6auto.com. Right now I have them in the red as you guys just saw, but I also have them in blue. So I'm gonna be showing you guys how to install these button pieces since it is not the easiest thing. It's not as easy as changing out your start stop ignition button. It does require more of taking small things apart. So it's gonna require some care so you don't you know break any plastic pieces or anything because all these pieces are made out of plastic but it's not too difficult it is definitely doable yourself um, with a couple of small tools so I believe there's all of the context for these pieces so let's get started on this install alright so here I have the original black pieces so the first thing I'm gonna do is remove this piece here this piece around the gear shift knob so that I can get underneath inside and release the two tabs that are holding this piece with the buttons in place because I am gonna have to take this piece apart to install the red colored button pieces. So I'm gonna use this plastic pry tool here to get underneath and pry this piece out around the gear shift knob. So it's going to be kind of hard to show you guys, but there are two tabs that are holding this piece in place. The one at the top here is very easy to get to. You can just use your finger to pop it out like that. There we go. So I got the top out. Now this bottom piece here is going to be a bit harder since it's kind of in a little tight spot there. I might have to use a flathead to get it out. I think I got it. Let's go ahead and disconnect the electrical connection. There we go. So taking a look at it here, you can see the two tabs. There's one right there. That's the top one. And then the second one on the bottom here is right there. So I basically just used the flat head like this and stuck it in between the little opening and just kind of like turned it so that it would press this inward like I was sitting like this and then I just turned it this way and there was enough um, leverage on another piece for me to push it inward and then it just popped out as you guys saw so now I have to take apart this entire piece so that I can get inside of the assembly and pop these pieces out so I'm gonna head into the garage so that I can use a table to do all of this so to take this piece apart, I'm going to be using a very small flathead screwdriver that's going to come with the colored button pieces here. And as you guys can see, there's like little tabs, little clips that are holding some of the pieces together around, you can see there. And you're going to need a very, very small like tool to get underneath and unhook them. And this is the perfect tool, so that's why I'm going to be using this. Now you're going to want to be very very careful when unhooking these pieces uh, just be very gentle so that you don't break any of these pieces since they are made out of plastic they're very brittle all right so i got this piece off and this silver piece is a part of it. Put that off to the side. So now there are four more little tabs. As you can see right there, on each two on each side. One there, one there. I'm gonna go ahead and use the flathead, or I think you can also use your fingernail if it's long enough or strong enough. Alright, 
so once you get that uh, bottom piece unhooked, uh, this green electrical panel is gonna come off with it, and it doesn't stick to it, so it can come apart like this, but just try your best to keep it together. Go ahead and put that off to the side, and then inside you'll see it has a gray rubber piece. You're gonna wanna take that out like that. Put that off to the side. And then it'll come with this like windy white plastic piece here. You're gonna wanna take that out like that. Put that off to the side. And then here is finally where we can unhook the, oh, there's another clear piece. That's the light that lets you know that the PDC button is on, or the PDC parking distance sensors are on. But yeah, underneath here you can finally see where we have access to unhooking the black pieces, the button pieces, from um, this piece inside here. I'll try my best to show it, but it is very, very small and very, very tight, so um, I'll try my best here to show you guys. Inside the, the piece here, you can zoom in and focus. Inside you can see there are little openings right there, and then one on this side up here. You can see it on camera right there. In those little holes, that is where you have to unhook the buttons. Here, I'll show you guys on the colored ones. You can see on the new colored ones here, there is a little opening, there's a hole, and a little groove hooks onto that on both sides, you can see. And that is where we need to use the flathead to unhook this, unhook this piece from the inner piece here. So yeah, that is what I need to do to get uh, these pieces off. Yeah, there we go. I got this one off here, like that. Now this piece inside here is gonna fall out once the button is unhooked from it. So you may notice that, so yeah, it's gonna fall out just like that. There we go, got it off. This piece is gonna fall out like that. Now the drive mode selector button is a little bit different, but essentially you still need to use the flathead get a closer look here you guys can see inside kind of same thing you have to stick the flathead in between the hook and the button piece I'll show you guys on the new one here so you can see on the new one there are holes right here on each side and there's a black piece that hooks on inside of these little holes and you basically just have to put the flathead like right here and push outward so it unhooks from those two black pieces so that's what I'm going to be doing here. There we go. Cut it off, just like that. Alright, so now that all of the black button pieces are out, we can begin reassembling everything. So I'm going to go ahead and take one of these pieces, starting with the traction control button. Now these only go in one way, so there's no way to like put it in the wrong way or mix them up since there's two pieces. Let's see here. So yeah, it fits on that side. And then this one fits on the other side. So now we're gonna take our new colored button pieces. Let's see the top one was the traction control, so I'm gonna take the red colored traction control button and just basically press it against the inner black piece here together, like that, and you'll hear it clip in. I'll do the same thing with the parking sensor button here. There we go. And now, I'll reinstall the drive mode selector button. There we go. All of the buttons are in. Oh wait, I just noticed I put the parking sensor button in the wrong slot. So there's like an empty slot here in between the drive mode selector and the parking sensor button. So yeah, I need to take that one out and put it in the correct slot, which is on the very bottom right here. All right, so that's the position it's supposed to be in on the very bottom here. So now I'm gonna reinsert the little plastic clear piece here for the parking sensor light. Again, it only goes in one way, so you can't really mess it up. 
I'm gonna reinstall this piece here for the underneath the drive mode selector button. And I'll go ahead and reinstall this gray rubber piece here. And now I'll reinstall the bottom piece here, with the electric green panel. There we go. All the buttons work. Now I'll reinstall the top piece here. All right, so it is completely reassembled. So now we can reinstall this back into the car. All right, so I have everything reinstalled and now we get the final look of these colored buttons. I think these look really cool and they go perfectly if you have a colored start stop button to match. I have a red one here that I just recently changed uh, because I knew I was gonna be installing these. Let's go ahead and make sure that these buttons work since I took everything apart. So I'm going to turn on the car real quick. Go ahead and press the sport mode selector. You can see it works properly. There we go, and then the traction button works also. And then the parking distance sensors, you can see it works. Perfect, so all the buttons work. So yeah guys, I think these look really awesome. I think these are a really cool addition, a really cool mod you can do to the interior of your BMW if you have these buttons. It has a nice glossy finish for both the red and the blue that you can get. All right, so that completes this install for these new colored button pieces, the drive mode selector, the traction control, and the parking distance sensor buttons. I honestly think these look really cool. They add a nice, unique touch to the interior of your BMW, getting rid of the plain black stock button pieces that come with every BMW. And like I mentioned, they go perfectly if you have a red or blue start stop ignition button to go with these pieces but uh, yeah let me know what you guys think of these new colored pieces down in the comments section as usual i'll leave a link to these directly from my store if you guys want to possibly get a set for yourself if you do end up buying anything from my store i just want to say thank you your support is everything to me it is really awesome that i can provide some value for other BMW enthusiasts out there, help you guys find some parts for your BMWs. So yeah guys, I just wanna give a big thank you to anybody who buys anything from my store. So I think that's gonna wrap up this video. If you guys have any additional comments or questions about anything, feel free to also comment those down below the video. I'll also leave a link directly to my website, inline6auto.com, if you guys wanna check out any other parts that are on the website since I have Quite a few parts, I'm still working on adding more, but I do have some on there right now. Thank you guys for watching. As always, give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it and subscribe for more content like this if you liked what you saw. Otherwise, I will catch you guys in the next video.